I'm Jay Choga with Clean Trucking and we are at the ACT Expo 2024. I am here with Jim Connolly from Bollinger Motors and we are going to be doing a walk around and brief test drive of the Bollinger B4 chassis. This is our first vehicle that is going into production at the back half of this year. What sets us apart from other automakers in this space is our frame. The width of our frame is 40 inches wide versus the standard 34. This allows us to get our componentry and all of our batteries safely within that frame. Whereas if you look at some of the other automakers, they took an ICE engine and they converted it over into an EV. So that means that they had to find space for their batteries. So you'll see saddlebags and so forth on the sides of their frame, whereas we were more purpose-built within our frame. And so this is a ground up design. So we started with the frame and figured out how we could put everything safely within that frame. So our batteries are positioned right here within the vehicle. There's a two pack battery system. Those are 79 kilowatts per battery. Those are positioned in the middle of the vehicle to help performance on it, give it more stability on the vehicle. Towards the back of the vehicle, you'll see that we have a Dana rear axle and E-axle, that's what drives the vehicle. Dana is a leading name in the industry, in the automotive industry, so we partner with somebody who gives us the best product that we can provide. 158 inch frame rail and the upfit is one of our upfit partners from Napide. So this is a contractor body. And so once we build the cab and the frame, we send those off based on the customer's need to where the vehicle is going to be upfitted for final completion. Our vehicles are built at Roush, another leading name in the industry. They are contracted manufacturing. They take our designs and our engineering and they actually assemble the vehicle for us in Livonia, Michigan. The interior of the cab is a very traditional cab, so when individuals are moving from gas over to EV, it gives them, for their drivers, a more consistent feel to the cab. That way, it's not some, some all do, new design and they're unfamiliar with it. That way, you're not getting the resistance as you move over into EVs. So Jim, what are some of the key specs? Sure, the GVW on this vehicle is 15.5. Horsepower is 323. From a charging perspective, depending on what level charger you're using, so on a level two, you're looking at a nine hour charge. On a DC fast charge, you're looking at about 2.5. Range on the vehicle is 185. Height is 32. This button right here takes it out of park. So press that button. Um, you are in drive at the moment. Pull your emergency brake down. So let's turn the key, give me one turn, not like a, a gas engine where you're holding it, just click it. Um, the dash will light up. You're gonna get a green battery there. Once you get the green battery, click it one more time for me. So at this point, vehicle looks like it's ready. So All right. take your foot off the brake and put it on the acceleration pedal. Yeah, you're right that you got to kind of take a wide turn yeah, it's, in order it's, to make it. But it's really, the steering is very responsive. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a large truck. It's, you know, 158. And the turning radius on the vehicle, there's a 46 foot turning circle that we have on the vehicle, which allows for maneuverability. So if you're delivering packages and so forth, it, sure. it lends itself to an advantage. Yeah, busy street isn't exactly the course you want to kind of test drive in. Not really, but this is, <laughs> it's very comfortable. It's, you know, aside from these uh, bumpy Las Vegas roads, this is very smooth. Very nice, calm acceleration. Like I tap the, the accelerator and it's very controlled. It's smooth, it's quiet, so quiet. Like I said, towards the beginning of our interview, we're located in Oak Park, Michigan. We started off looking to develop the B1 and B2, mm -hmm. which has more of a retail application. 
the pivot to class four. When you look at class four from an incentive perspective, government sure. incentives, the Inflation Reduction Act that's out there for this particular class and MSRP price allows us to have a $40,000 incentive on this vehicle plus any additional city I and state see. incentives that are out there. So what does this retail for? Well, we haven't announced pricing yet, so we kind of keep that under wraps until we get closer to production. So towards the end of the summer, we'll announce that price. So Jim, who is your target audience for this? Well, typically you're looking at telecom, even lawn care, last mile delivery. Really, our vehicle is versatile enough to accept any type of upfit on the back. So I think from that perspective, our customer is who, anybody who's looking for a class four vehicle. Okay, great, thank right. you.